I've logged into Cirrus 8 and I'm ready to schedule some inspections. You can schedule an inspection in Cirrus 8 either through the Manage Properties screen or through the Manage Leases screen. The Properties screen allows you to schedule an inspection such as a common area report or an inspection on a property that may not currently have a, a tenant and Leases allows you to schedule an inspection against a lease, for example a move in, a make good or exit or a periodic inspection. The process is the same, so I'm just going to go into Properties. I'm going to select an existing property within my system. And now I'm going to navigate to the inspection area by pressing this keyword. And you'll see I've got a tab that says Property Inspections. What I can do in here is schedule a date for an inspection. I can choose a frequency, how often I'm actually going to conduct these inspections. I'll do this one quarterly. The type feature isn't currently available, watch this space. But the important one is this template feature. In the template, we've got a number of different profiles. These profiles match the profiles that are set up within Property Inspection Manager. So if I choose a common area report, it will create an inspection and it will create that inspection with the areas associated with a common area report. And you have control of what those areas are. You can also produce a um, report that's relevant to a restaurant or to a retail um, property. Um, what we ask you to do is think about your property portfolio and what makes sense for you to have in here because it can be changed but we need to do it for you. So begin with the end in mind, think about what's relevant for you. I'm going to use a common area report. You'll see there's a tab in here to add a charge for that inspection if you're going to charge for it. I can then diarize and I can add um, it to my schedule of inspections. I'm just going to add a few in here. So I'm going to take it through till um, the end of December and I'm going to enter those inspections. So you can see in here, I've now got a number of scheduled inspections right the way through to the end of 2022, common area reports on this property. I'm now going to go to Property Inspection Manager and show you what that looks like. You can download the Property Inspection Manager app from the App Store onto your iPhone or onto your iPad. And then you can set up an account with us, either as a trial account or a full-blown account. Get in touch with us or go through the propertyinspectionmanager.com website. Once you've downloaded the app, you can log in with your username and password. And that should give you on the first page of settings, which is on the bottom right of the navigational toolbar, a account type, which will say premium and then you can hook up your Cirrus 8 to PIM. We will ask you if you want to do this and um, we'll get in touch with Cirrus 8, make sure that we've got all the right links in there and we can do that for you. However, in your app, you'll need to go to this, to this advanced menu and in the advanced menu, scroll down to where it says enable Cirrus 8 and then you can click that on, choose to import up to 120 days of scheduled inspections into the app. Um, I've chosen 60 days here. So get in touch with us, we'll get this sorted out for you. Once that's done, come into um, settings, go into this area which is the um, advanced settings tab, enable and select how many days out you want to import your inspections for. While you're in this area, go to settings and go to PIM admin. And there are a few things that we'll ask you to do. We'll ask you to set up your inspectors. Your inspectors can be multiple per device, or it can just be you. And through this function as well, you will be um, prompted to um, select your templates. So we will customize templates for you with your logos and dress details, etc. And you can have different types of templates for different types of inspections. Also have a look through these areas. Shorthand words and phrases is where you can create a, a library of commonly used terms or phrases or paragraphs which you can just drop into an inspection. Uh, saves you having to key them in. Look at the inspection areas as well. Um, there are lots of existing inspection areas and if you click on those you'll see that there's also the opportunity to put pre-populated notes or additional notes in here. That just means that you can have common copy that always appears within those areas. So when you produce a new report, it will always have those in there. There's also sub-inspection areas. And if you look at sub-inspection areas, 
Familiarize yourself, you can add, you can take some of these away, the choice is yours. Finally, what I'd like you to do is make sure that you go into Smart Property Profiles and check in Smart Property Profiles that you've got the correct profiles for the types of properties that are on your portfolio or in your portfolio, and also if you want to do any other types of reports in here as well. If you click on any of these um, titles, you'll see that the areas that are included within those profiles have got a number beside them. And you manage that by using the plus and minus tabs to the right. So make sure those are okay. Get in touch with us if you need to talk it through. But uh, essentially that's all you need to do in this area at this moment in time. And then you're ready to import your inspections that have been scheduled in Cirrus 8. To actually conduct an inspection and capture your comments and photos. I'm just going to show you that to you now. I'm going to choose an inspection. I'll choose this one, uh, 1235 Beach Road Kuji, and I'm going to click on that. You'll see that this is brought across address details, it's brought across owner details. If you've got the phone numbers in there, it'll bring that across as well. Um, I'm looking at this and thinking this will be a common area report because it hasn't brought tenancy details, but those tenancy details will come across from Cirrus 8 as well, if it's a lease related inspection. Okay, so to start my inspection, I tap on this bar at the bottom, tap to start your inspection, and that brings up the areas associated with this inspection report. And I can see that yes, this has come across as a common area report because it's including things like the main entry, paths, reception, lifts and escalators, etc. Now, the first time you go to a property, you can um, change the areas around in terms of their order, and you can delete any that aren't applicable and add additional areas that may not be on the list already. So the first time you go to a property, you'll tweak it. You'll see in here that we've got maintenance required, suggested improvements, and our summary. Those are special areas that we call call-outs, which go onto the front page of your report. You can change these or you can customize them. Ask us for more details. So to actually edit these, go to the edit button in the top right hand corner. You'll see that the little gray bars appear on the right hand side. If I touch the gray bar, it will move that area up and down so I can move things to the appropriate point. Um, I can delete those that I tick. So I don't actually have a um, fire services list in here. I can just delete it. And if I want to add an additional area that's not on the list, I can go to the plus sign in the top right hand corner, click on the area, and I can add a showroom in this instance. That will appear at the bottom of my list. If I press edit again, I can pull it up. So I'm ready to go. Once I go into an area, so I can click on an area, I have got my data collection screen. You'll see these quick check labels. They are defaulted to clean, undamaged, working and maintenance required. You can change those labels if you want to. Um, tick once for a green, tick twice for a red cross. It's a quick visual prompt to if something is okay or not okay. Capturing notes. You'll see we have two areas here. We've got notes and we've got additional notes. Anything that goes into notes will go into the inspection report. Anything that goes into additional notes is for your eyes only and can be brought out as a separate list of those additional notes as well, but they won't go into the inspection report. If I click on the notes area, it brings up my keyboard, so obviously I can key in my notes. The other option that I have is that I can use the circles with a little cross in to bring up my shorthand words and phrases, which I can filter by relevance or I can show them all. And then I can actually go through, navigate, touch and drop them in. If I know the abbreviation associated with a phrase, I can key that in. I can press the space bar, it'll appear above, touch, and I can drop it in. And then the other thing that I can do is you'll see there's a microphone down here on the keyboard. I can activate voice to text, which is really good, particularly in a quiet area. Not so good if there's a lot of background noise or somebody hanging around. And then finally, if you do have an Apple Pencil, you can 
use the Apple Pencil to capture scroll. And if it gets that, I'll be surprised. No, several. Now I can put scroll. It's getting better all the time. I'm finding with the Apple Pencil it's really useful. Okay, the other thing with the Apple Pencil will become apparent in a second when I go into photos. So I've got my um, ability to capture my notes using Siri, using the pencil, using the keyboard, using shorthand words and phrases. If I want to take a photo, I can either do that by using the camera on the right hand side there or pressing the photos bar. I'm just going to press the camera and up will come my camera. You will see that on the right hand side of the screen there is a little white button and photo is highlighted in yellow below. If I press the camera button now, the white button, it'll take a picture and it means I'm taking one picture at a time. You'll see that at the top there it's telling me which area I've taken this photo in. So when you take a picture in PIM, it will actually attach to that photo the inspecting area in which it was taken. And if I'm actually taking that picture within the sub-inspection area, it will have that in as well. So for, for example, it might have door, wall, ceiling is next to that. Also in this screen, I can add some notes to the picture. And if I want to, I can use a photo as a feature shot to go onto the cover of the report as well. I can press use photo and then that's ready to go. Done. Now, what I'm going to do in here as well is press the camera again and I'm going to go to multi-shot. Multi-shot allows me to take a series of photos quickly. So that's ideal if I'm doing a property condition report or I just want to quickly go around a room and take a number of photos. I can then look at this photos tab here and it says you've taken five photos. If I click on that, I can see the pictures I've taken and I can choose to remove them if I don't want them. I can also do some post editing in here as well. So I can go to any picture, I can click on that picture and you'll see in the top right hand corner that there's an edit button. If I press that edit button, it comes up with a toolbar down here. Um, I can choose the width of the lines that I'm drawing with, I can choose colors. So I'm just gonna put um, red lines in there, I'm gonna use narrow, I've got my pencil, drawing a pencil and I'm pointing to this light. Now I want to add some text, I can put text box, light needs repair. I can move that so it's in the right area, so I can read it. So I've annotated my diagram, which is really handy, um, particularly for um, photos where you may just need that little bit extra explanation if there's some cracks in the walls or that sort of stuff. So it attaches that annotation to the photo, so I can draw on it. What I can also do within um, PIM is I can select a photo, so if I go to edit now, I can select a picture or several pictures, go to this green bar, press the bar, and it says, hey, do you want to um, send a work request to Sirius 8 with the photos? If I press that, it brings up a floating box. I can put in a note in here. The light needs repair. It's not just the bulb. It definitely needs a new fitting. Get some quotes organized. I can put that into there. I can tap to select a priority. So I can put in between critical and low, or put in a medium priority. I can put some extra detail in there if I want to. It's got the property code associated with it. Once I press done, it will actually send those photos with those notes back up into Sirius FM as a work request. Nice handy feature, done, come out of there. So uh, I'm just gonna go into another area You'll see in this area in here, I'm just gonna press on the sub-inspection areas. You do have the option within PIM to report by area or by area and sub-inspection area. I would probably use a sub-inspection area for that detailed report where you want to make sure that you're adding information on specific items. You're basically going through the same process but at a greater detail and a greater depth. For this demo, I won't go into this, but there are the options for you. 
What I can also do in here is just finish this off. Maintenance required. I'm just going to put some notes in here. There's my fence. Press the space bar. Fence needs repair replacing. Uh, I'm going to put something in our summary. I know if I put A, OK, press the space bar. It says I love the inspection. No problems to report. And now I've gone through my inspection report. I can see that I've completed everything that I need to. I'm going to go back to the home page up here, which is the address detail. And at this point, I can go to the action button in the top right hand corner and it says, hey, do you want to preview the inspection? Do you want to submit it? If I press preview, it will show me what the report will look like. And at that point, I can go back into the inspection and change things. Um, just for time's sake, I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to go straight into submit inspection. That will now merge my comments and my photos and put them into my inspection template. Now, as long as you've got an internet connection, you'll be able to see what the report looks like. I can view it now. You'll see it's been uploaded into Cirrus 8. I'm going to view it now. Here's my inspection report. I've got this with a cover page, so um, you've got a lot of flexibility in how we set these up. This is just done for demo purposes, but I've got a picture, a feature photo of the property. I've got my um, front page, which is the hard hitting stuff. Brings across the details from Cirrus 8. It's got my, what am I up for? Maintenance required. What do you need to think about? Um, I've got nothing in there. And I've got my summary. Anything else you need to know about as well. I've got my list of rooms in order with ticks and crosses and notes. I can sign this as well on the glass. I haven't done this one, but that's available to you. And then I've got the pictures associated with this inspection report with the area in which they're taken. Any notes that I've got added to it as well and any annotations that I've got added to highlight why I've taken them. So, if I wanted to create a property condition report instead of the, the routine or periodic inspection, I press on this type, and if I press property condition report, that will populate a more detailed inspection that will have a different title for it and can be used for your ingoing and your exit slash make good inspection reports. There are other videos that we've got that go into more detail around this. My next thing that I want to show you is where this goes to in Cirrus 8. So any questions, you can get in touch with us at support at propertyinspectionmanager.com. But before I leave here, one thing that is important is that you'll see that there is a tab called the PIM Help Desk. If you go into the PIM Help Desk, there are a number of headers, including the Help Center, which has got troubleshooting guides, links to videos, all that sort of stuff but also there's this contact us one. Contact us is where you can get in touch, ask a question, leave a comment, and maybe even say, I'm having some uh, challenges processing this um, inspection report on this address. Once, once you press send, it goes back into our um, uh, support desk and basically it won't move until it's sorted. And so it's the best way of getting some uh, response from us quickly. So you can either use a 1300 number, send us an email, or use this contact us. Press send and it's in the list. Once I've submitted my inspection, I can go back into Cirrus 8, go to the property uh, in the Manage Property sections, Click on the inspection tab, that takes me down to the um, inspections. These are the ones I scheduled. And you'll see in here that I've got a completed inspection. That in completed inspection is here, completed by myself. And there attached to the completed inspection is the inspection report. So I'll just click on there. And this is the report that we conducted online, ready for us to forward to where it needs to go to. As well as our completed inspection reports, if we go into Cirrus FM uh, and go into the work requests, we'll see here that I have um, managed to upload directly from my inspection the issues relating to the light. I've also got attachments in there, and those attachments are the two photos that I took. So I have the option in here to either download them or to view them. There's the picture that I took of the light that needed repairing. Um, I can now take that to the next stage of the maintenance, quoting, scheduling, etc. 
Okay, that's the uh, end of this uh, video. Um, any questions, please contact us at support at propertyinspectionmanager.com. Thank you.